Hello again, miss. <laughs> Tell me, Camellia, how are things now the dispensary is closed? Tell me about Richard Nivercott. I understand he is quite fond of you, Camellia. Very well. Goodbye then. Natürlich äh, etwas schwierig, sich mit einer Stummen zu unterhalten. Hm. Good evening, Mr. Nivercott. And good evening to you too, my good sir. Can I be of any help? Do you need medical attention, sir? It may be wise to let you prescribe me something. I don't feel like I should. I understand your appetite for words and macabre beauty, sir. But you should be more careful. The nutrition of my mind is more important than my physical health. But I appreciate your concern, sir. I'll leave you alone, sir. Mhm. Mm so, jetzt brauchen wir noch jemanden, der Blindenschrift lesen kann. Das ist da hinten auf dem Friedhof. Und da gehen wir jetzt mal hin. Hello, sir. Sorry to disturb you at this hour. I'm a doctor inquiring about the epidemic. May I come in? A doctor, you say? No, thank you. It cannot be safe for a blind man to live here alone. Let me enter, sir. I swear I mean you no harm. Well, a voice never lies, and yours clearly is the voice of a gentleman. All right, doctor, come on in. <laughs> Tell me. How do you see the world these days? So what is the name of my nocturnal visitor? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. As I already explained to you, I'm inquiring about the epidemic. Dr. Reed? The eminent surgeon? My God! I'd never have expected a brilliant physician like you to knock on my door. You flatter me, sir. No, sir, I am flattered. I read all your work when I still had my sight. I loved it. 
Uh, I'm Mason Swanborough, by the way. And what else have you learned about me, Mr. Swanborough? I know you assisted Professor Carell in France, and that you invented a new blood transfusion method based on his work. Yes. Those were frustrating but exciting days. I loved it. Yes, the thrill of research and discovery. This is what drives people like us, Dr. Reed. Oh, how I envy you. Does someone take care of you in this isolated place? My sister Loretta and I have our daily routine. Every morning and evening she comes by so we can talk and eat. Then she leaves and I stay. Do you not appreciate your sister's visit? Loretta is the best and worst thing that happened to me. And I believe she could say the same thing about me. Where does your sister go? Well, let's just say, she earns enough money for us both. What's so amusing about that? I won't hide the truth from you. Loretta sells a fake miracle elixir to the sick people of Whitechapel. <laughs> Das war hier, ne? Ja. Have you heard anything about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? I don't know who she is. Do you know Braille, Mr. Swanborough? I'm no expert, but I learned it in my spare time, yes. Why? I found a strange document entitled Cure for Blindness. It's written in Braille, so I thought perhaps it was yours. Really? Is that some kind of sick joke? Let me see. Here it is. This letter seems authentic, and it actually refers to an experimental cure for blindness. You have piqued my interest, Dr. Reed. Could it be of any use to you? No. This page is just a part of a larger diary. I'd be glad if you could find the other pages. Hmm. Seiten sammeln. Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. I'll leave you now. Wandering in this part of town at night, you're either brave or... ...or a fool. Oh, cool. Oh, der, oh Migräne. Hm. Und ich habe jetzt natürlich nichts. Ah, hier ist also der... Ach, hier ist jetzt der Friedhof. Aha. This is despicable. Despicable. Hm, aber was will ich auf dem Friedhof? I have this thirst for blood. Wo 
war denn das jetzt hier, ne? Ist ja gar nicht so weit weg. Och, Mensch, schau mal einer an. Migräne. Neuralgie. Das ist der... Achso, das ist genau Benjamin Palmer. Neuralgie. Und nochmal Migräne. Jetzt haben wir Migräne. Cool ist das denn? Ja gut, dann kann ich ja wieder den normalen Weg zurückgehen. Ach. Und natürlich mal eben Mason heilen, genau. Wenn ich schon mal hier bin. Good evening, Mr. Swanborough. Is it you, Dr. Reed? Please come in. <laughs> Tell me, how do you see the world these days? Vampire trinken unser Blut, doch sie weiden sich an unseren Seelen. Können wir glauben, dass Menschen, die von diesen verkommenen Kreaturen mit ihren faulen Mäulern gebissen wurden, in den Himmel kommen? Nein. Ihre Leiber wurden geschändet und ihre Seelen verdorben. Zusammen mit den Herrschern am blutsaugenden Dämonen ist ihr Platz in der Hölle. Vampire weiden sich an unseren Seelen. Clarence Crossley It's locked, all right. What can I do for you, Doctor? You seem unwell, sir. Do you need my assistance? Actually, I feel worse than usual. Can you give me something? Yes. I can give you a little something that has been proven effective. Thank you, Doctor. Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. I'll leave you now. What kind of gentleman pays visits? So, jetzt suchen wir Richard. Der hier mal irgendwo sein muss. Irgendwo in Whitechapel zumindest. An irgendeinem Zugang unten war der. Ich glaube... Hier? Oder hier hinten? Ja, das sieht gut aus. Hier müsste der sein. Good evening, Benjamin. Can I help you? I'm afraid not, Mr. Reed. You don't seem well, Benjamin. Do you need any help? I always feel ill, sir. It's like I'm never right. I can try to help your body heal, sir. But you must stop destroying it. The war destroyed me, Doctor. Even 
A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. <laughs> when science fails you, this elixir will give you... Oh! Da kann ich sie auch gleich auf das Elixir ansprechen. <lacht> Good evening, my dear colleague. Loretta, your miraculous formula wouldn't even cure a common cold, and you know it. The Swamborough's cordial secret ingredient is hope, Doctor. And it's something people around here really need. A placebo effect is real and has benefit. But in your case, you could be murdering your customers, who may die because they are not receiving the necessary medical attention. Medical attention? In Whitechapel? Trust me, my cordial is the best option they have, since it is the only one. You're just a greedy hypocrite. Hypocrite? What about an eminent physician prowling these streets at night? I'm sure you have a personal agenda too, Doctor. Goodbye, Miss Swanborough. Perhaps we'll talk again. So. <lacht> Zu Oswald müssen wir noch. Good boys joined the army and the scum turned criminal. It's a shame, really. Widmen wir uns wieder der Hauptquest. Ich jetzt auch alles abgefrühstückt. Was ist jetzt los? So, jetzt muss ich erstmal wieder Oswald finden. Wahrscheinlich. Nee. Die chillen doch immer hier hinten rum, ne? Ah. Sometimes you act like a real jerk, you know that? Oh, come on, Ozzy, don't be like that. What, like what? Like someone who felt betrayed by the man he loves. Did you ever even try to find me? Rescue me? You know, it's not like that. I wanted to. I was so afraid to leave the hospital, not to be seen with you. We survived this shit together. That's all that matters. I know you did your best. <sighs> fuck the war, right? And, and fuck them all. Fuck the war. Fuck them all. That's how it's before I already knew, you two. Good evening. Evening, Dr. Reed. Do you need medical attention? Don't get me wrong, sir. 
I'm grateful for what you've done, but I've never felt comfortable with doctors. I'm certain you have your reasons, but let me assure you, I'm not like other doctors you may have consulted with. Uh, it is true. You risked your life to save me, after all. It would be impolite to refuse your counsel. Tell me about your true feelings for Newton. I love him. I'm not ashamed to say it. He's the best thing that ever happened to me. I can't imagine life without him. Why should you be ashamed? I'm not, I said. But Newton sees it differently. I admire your honesty. It takes courage to stand up to society. The world needs people like you to create change. Courage is what we needed in the trenches, looking death in the face every day. I speak plain. I speak my mind. Have you always been this straightforward? All I know is, before you saved me by the sewer, my only regret was I wouldn't be able to hold or kiss Newton again. I love him, that's all. Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. Ich würde sagen, wo ist denn jetzt Newton? Ah, da oben. Kann <lacht> ich ja nochmal drauf ansprechen. Hello again, Mr. Blight. Good evening, Dr. Reed. You doing your rounds as usual? How do you feel about Oswald Thatcher? You are more than friends, aren't you? I, I love him. I love Oswald. We knew we wouldn't survive the war without each other. But I am terrified, Doctor. What frightens you so much? What if people find out? Oswald says I'm ashamed, but it ain't that. It's more, well... You know... I never thought I'd love a man. Enjoy your love. And enjoy life as long as you can, Mr. Blight. Don't let anyone tell you who you should love or how you should love them. I appreciate your kind words, sir. But it ain't that easy. It's all so new to me. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Take care of yourself. Oh! So, dann gehen wir mal schlafen. Mal gucken, vielleicht können wir noch irgendwas entwickeln. Also, das kostet alles 2000. Mhm. Klauen sogar 3000. Ultimate auch. Eine Ausdauer. <lacht> so. Gereinigt. Guck dir das an. Deine Taten haben die Wirtschaft des Bezirks verändert. Da ist einiges krank geworden. Erschöpfung, Erschöpfung, Erkältung, Erkältung, Erschöpfung. Viermal Erschöpfung, zweimal Erkältung.
4 Erschöpfung, 2 Erkältung. 4 Erschöpfung, 3 Erkältung. <lacht> Ich alles am Laufen halten. Dann bis zum nächsten Mal.